And I was telling somebody the other day that it's, 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 it's and, you know, and I shouldn't jinx it, but literally every time I put a piece of content out, where I'm, where I'm t speaking from my heart, I'm sharing with people how I feel or what I'm seeing, and I'm, I'm, I'm leveraging my experience and I'm leveraging my network. Every time I invest the time and energy to do that, something comes back to me. And, and, and it's so amazing, each and every time, it, never, it blows my mind each time, like I'll get a call from somebody I haven't seen in five years, they're saying, you know, I, I, they don't ever say, I saw your video though. That's one thing I noticed. They don't ever say, oh, right, I just saw your video on LinkedIn, so I'm calling you with a piece of business. They don't do that. They'll call me, they won't reference the video, but doesn't, they don't need to. And, that, and that's okay, but as long as they do call me, but they do call. So the more you put yourself out there, the more opportunities that network that we've nurtured and accumulated over all these years of being in the business can come back and help us. I'll tell you one another quick story. Uh, we're trying to, by creating these stories for our associates, get younger with our marketing. And I, and I say that and a lot of people give me a hard time over it, but I always joke, you know, you gotta have marketing in the year that you, we live in. And right now it's all about social networks and it's all about video content. So I'll give you a quick story. So I've, I, we just hired an intern or brought an intern uh, to our business. And uh, in her first day at the job, I was talking to her and I was like, what do you know about HPN Global? And she's like, oh, HPN Global. And she's going on and on. And I said, what do you know about this, our competitors? Competitor A and competitor B, who are much larger. I don't know who they are. And I'm like, that's so interesting that you, I mean, this is a young person now. This is a person that has not been in the business very long. I don't know anything about those two. I didn't even know they existed. I'm like, wow, that's interesting. I said, well, how'd you hear about HPN? She goes, well, I live my, I, I just went to hospitality school. A lot of it was done on virtually. And my teacher was in Scottsdale, Arizona. And somehow was connected with HPN's messaging and was using some of that messaging to infuse that into her teacher's, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Their, their program, their curriculum. So, so she knew about HPN because we were promoting in this feed where other people could see it and then they use it in curriculum to, to educate these young people on the industry. She comes in as an intern, not under the HPN, but more as like a digital marketing support, but she knew all about HPN because our marketing was in front of her appealing to the young mind. And, and I think to me, and people say, well, young marketing, what about, the, what about this demographic? And I, and I, I really believe that young marketing is just a, 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 you know, a script, description of mobile, fast, video, um, aggressive, just fun marketing. And so basically, um, if you achieve young marketing, it's gonna cover every demographic that you could possibly do business with because they can all benefit from it. But if you do old school marketing, you're gonna miss out on this generation that needs this type of content. They need, they learn through watching videos. If they wanna make a cake, they get on YouTube. If they want to make scrambled eggs, they want to crack an egg, they get on YouTube. I mean, literally, if you don't have content on YouTube, you're missing out on educating this group that's coming up, and let me be honest, they're gonna run the world, and it's happening very fast. So look, if you could give me, in your whole realm of your perspective, if you could really give me one bit of wisdom as far as social presence, like honestly, you have one thing to tell your audience. You have one bit of wisdom to give them, like one bit of instruction, but it, it's a serious wisdom from the heart. What do they need to do? You need to understand that when you meet somebody at a cocktail party, or if you meet somebody on a cold call, the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna look you up. And when they look you up, they're gonna, they're gonna read all about you. And they're gonna immediately make a determination on whether or not you're the right person for them. And so if you're not putting that content out there, you're leaving it to chance. And that is not what you wanna be doing in 2020. It's called the zero moment of truth. When you do research, you find, you like, you book. It's really that simple. So if you don't have that content, you're not gonna be part of the future of business. However, if you do simply put some content out there, and then when someone searches Brian Bruce and they look, oh wow, let me watch this, and they listen. If they're my type of person, we're in business. If they're like, nah, too aggressive, or you know, uh, lives over here, or, or thinks way far out of the box, that's okay, we weren't right for each other to begin with. But it's all about establishing yourself and, and connecting with like kind so you can grow your business. So my, my piece of wisdom is be focused on the zero moment of truth, understand what it is, and when people search for you, what do they see? 
Do you like what they see? Is it enough? And then make a determination on what you need to do next. Create more content. So in literally, that was the last bit. So you gotta give me that one bit of wisdom. At the very end, you just said it. Create more content. In 2020, tell your story. Be authentic, be true, be genuine, and don't worry about making a mistake because nobody cares. Create more content and have a field day.